DR675 string trimmer. Years or so ago, I went through five of them to get three of them up and running. Here's another one that was left over in the shed over there. Um, I pulled on it a couple times. It doesn't start. Stopped right there. I'm going to do the basic stuff and then uh, let's see if we can get it back in service. Before we even get started, there's a few things I want to take care of. One, I'll take it outside, I'll hose it down. Uh, two, I'm going to just drain the oil out of it. Uh, I pulled the dipstick and looked at it, and it's not pretty. Um, so I just want to, I, I'm just going to get rid of it. Air filter, same thing, it's just disgusting. I'm going to yank it off and discard it. Spark plug, I'll pull it out and clean it. I'm not going to jump into the valves yet. Um, and to be honest with you, before I even try to pull start this thing, which I've done and it doesn't start, but before I start pulling on it, I'm going to take the carburetor off and go through it. This has one of those new plastic carburetors. I've never touched one. Okay, I've touched one now. Uh, I've never taken one apart, so we'll take it apart, we'll put it on the bench, we'll go through it. Um, they appear to be pretty simple, which I hope they are. Anyway, so let's get to work.
Well, there you go. Overall, it wasn't that bad. Um, the, the spark plug was the main culprit, but let's kind of go over everything, kind of a recap here. The oil in it wasn't that bad. I, it was black, but it was still viscousy. It wasn't, uh, didn't have water in it, and it didn't have gas in it, so the oil was good. The carburetor, not the cleanest in the world. Um, would have run, but would have been low on power. Uh, one of the jets was partially clogged, the other one was, uh, well, they were both semi-clogged. Um, but it would have run just, just low on power. The spark plug was completely carboned up. Uh, and it's, there was no maintenance done over there. So these things were just fired up and just, just run. So I'm sure uh, the oil didn't get changed on a regular basis which means the cylinder walls are scored, which means they're oil burners. When I fired it up, it was burning a little oil. Uh, I didn't know if that was because um, I had drained it and then stood it back up, uh, but I suspect, based on that plug, that it's an oil burner. So the life on this guy's, it, there's not much left. The next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna do it on camera, um, this head down here, it's all bound up. It has, um, you've heard the term bailing wire. They don't bail with bailing wire. Um, and they don't bail with twine. They call it twine, but it's not, it's not twine like you know. It's this nylon stuff. And for whatever reason, there's just a ton of it wrapped around the head of this guy. So I'm going to take this guy apart, uh, replace new str the strings on it. I've got those. And, uh, Let's get this guy back in service. Is it, uh, is it perfect? Oh gosh, no, far from it. Uh, did we make progress? Yes, this was literally a hanger queen um, this morning, and now, now we can put it back in service and get some work out of it. So anyway, thanks for watching.